Okay, today we are, as you probably, if you're watching any of these videos, it's uh, the end of March. We're experiencing social distancing time guidelines, and uh, we're taking this time to catalog a lot of our neighborhoods that we sell in and around the Athens area. So today, I am actually doing this video of the station, which again is similar to another uh, property, the Retreat South, and the Retreat, which is downtown. The station is student housing property, um, almost 100% probably occupied currently by students, uh, owned by investors or often UGA parents. The station is located just off of Millage Avenue. It's on Davis Street, which is close to, uh, well, you might find Moose Club uh, condos, Davis Estates, and also uh, Brookshire Commons. So the station is right here on what is called the old Moose Club property. Used to be a Moose Club here, Moose, Moose Club Lodge. Used to be uh, a small field that uh, people played softball on, baseball. Developed also by Landmark Properties, which is a large student housing developer based here in Athens, but they do uh, develop across the country. This was developed in 2007, and it's probably the newest of these student-like cottages built by Landmark in the area, and it's probably the most valued location. Uh, none of the properties are in bad areas, but this is right on the edge of the Five Points area of Athens. So your old Millage Avenue, uh, south side, close to the loop, still close to campus, and it collects probably about 520 per bedroom. Every plan in this neighborhood is a four bedroom, four bath. There are no three bedrooms. We have one under contract right now that should close around that 250 number. I can't really disclose what it will close at till it closes, but if you're thinking around $250,000, that's probably where we're gonna land. Now, um, much like the Retreat South, it was built by Landmark, and you have basically three types of plans. So the one you're looking at right there, that's gonna be the Brookshire plan, which is four bedrooms, four and a half baths. That's another Brookshire. You can kind of tell by the small door threshold. And then if you come to this one right here, it's next hand one that's uh, 46. It's a little taller. That's called the, uh, the artisan plan. It's a four, four. You've got three bedrooms up, one bedroom down. And through this little area right here, you're gonna be basically rotating between an artisan plan and a Brookshire. So there's a Brookshire, four, four and a half. And here's another one. And then we'll come up to this number 42, which will be an artisan plan, 4-4. Four, four. There is another plan here called the Thornberry, which has two bedrooms down, two bedrooms up, more of a front porch. We're just kind of on this middle row right now. So um, much like Retreat South and the Retreat, these are the same floor plans. They rent almost exclusively to students. There's no regulation in the HOA that says they have to rent to students, but um, that's mostly what we see. I'm gonna take a right here because we've got a couple Thornberries to take a look at which have the front porch, and you can see this front porch. So that window up there is a laundry room, and uh, two bedrooms up, two bedrooms down. And as we come right through here, I will just kind of point out where the pool is. Values around 250s, rent around 2100, 2300 in that range as we're sitting here in March 2020, very popular. They rent very, very easily. And a lot of investors own these, along with UGA parents. We sell a lot of these cottages. Um, oftentimes, it's hard to get one to market. We have to work with buyers to sort of uh, look under the rocks and beat the door, so to speak, to find a, find a seller. But the station is a great area, especially if you're looking for um, possible investment in student housing or rental properties. The station, Athens, Georgia, student, uh, student housing.